Bluetooth repairs on my bedroom. The wall next to my AC is all warped out, so we have family and friends coming to repair it. But yeah, this is a little update video. I haven't vlogged in a while, so that being said, I'm gonna get ready. Cue the motherfucking time card. guys can hear me over the mask because right now uh, the state of Hawaii right now is in lockdown mode um, it's actually the second lockdown here in the state of Hawaii simply because tourists and locals alike don't want to fucking follow the rules and they complain about bullshit that that can't happen however I digress that's not the point of this vlog um, why am I vlogging so early in the fucking morning it's not usual of me normally the Sun is out well, I haven't updated my channel in fucking forever and the direction of the channel now is uncertain so I figure I'd give you viewers something to, to look at. Definitely I'm still going to be continuing with the food theme. I'm definitely going to be doing that. Um, what else am I going to be doing? You ask? Well, I'm also going to be doing a lot more car related stuff. I'm a friend of mine. Um, is opening his own detailing as well as car wrap video car wraps where basically you have like the livery and the 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 decals and all of the graphics work that you put on the car and pretty much that's it so I want to help him out with that and put it on my vlog as I can so I have carrots anyways um, what I've been up to Let's see, what have I been up to? Well, basically what I've been up to is a lot of projects with friends, mostly my friend Alika and my, my brother, one of my, my good friends Alika and Dan. Um, learning about TikTok, learning about certain angles and footage, how to take footage, how to make my content just a touch better. And I'm learning, I learned a lot from them. I also got the privilege to work with and learn from um, director, content creator, Esera, uh, aka Mr. Coconut. He's also a very good content creator. And how much is this rib of these ribs? I don't know much. Ah, no need the celery. No need the mirepoix. Uh, and the reason I said mirepoix is because I'm going to make chicken stock. I'm going to make a... Uh, I forgot the, the term, but it's a term that I'm going to be practicing for another product that I'm working on, which is opening up a restaurant. Now, how the fuck can I open up a restaurant in this bullshit COVID crisis? Well, most restaurants, they don't have a contingency, but because I'm living through COVID, I can see what, what most restaurants are doing and plan for a contingency just in case. So that way, the people that work for me won't lose their damn jobs. Also, I need a reason to get out of the house. But anyways, back on back on points. What I was saying. Um, yeah, so I, I've been working on learning how to do a lot of content creating stuff and making my content a little bit better. As well as the reason why I haven't um, been doing a lot of mukbangs as of lately was because of that. Mostly in part, not not mostly in part because of that, but. It was more so because of the fact that I had a lot of family crisis and a lot of personal crisis that I needed to deal with, deal with on the whole. And I hope you're not picking up this fucking cart because I got a cart that, oh man, my, 
my allergies are acting up. I can't breathe. Top of that, my allergies are starting to get a lot. <coughs> oh, a lot worse than what they were. So I couldn't, I couldn't do the mukbang, especially the part two of episode nine. But best believe the mukbangs are definitely coming back um, once I get my shit together. Um, let me see if I can find. So normally my habit is when I go to a brand new, when I go to a store, I pick me up some new knives. And on top of that, by the way, you don't need to spend a couple hundred dollars. Like if you're starting out building your own toolkit for your as a chef what i learned from a lot of my friends who've been in the industry start first cheaply and then work your way up because then that way you'll know how to maintain a cheaper knife so that way you can keep a more expensive knife sharper and believe me have learning how to sharpen knives is a skill that all of y'all need to learn Like right now, I'm looking for a whole bird. Normally, I would go for steaks, but I'm gonna go for the whole bird this time. And it's a dollar forty-nine a pound, ten sixty-nine. So we're gonna go with. I'm gonna go with these two bad boys. And the reason why I'm buying two is one's gonna be butchered, I meaning it's gonna be taken apart, and the other's gonna be. Um, the other is gonna be put in hold. Now my camera's heating up. So by the way, if anybody knows what to do when your camera's heating up, can you please give me an idea? Cause I do not want to buy me another battery. So you also might be wondering before my camera cut out and overheated, what happened to the Note E12 and what's going on with the Note E12? Well, the last you guys saw it was we just did a. We just did, I think, several months ago, going early, early to early this year to late last year. We did an install of an HKS muffler to replace the old DC Sport muffler. Now, that taught me a few things: measure, 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 and get the exact measurements first by reading the forms carefully and making sure that you got the right shit before you even think of installing new stuff. Now, I already have the HKS motor, which you will be seeing. You probably seen in the pre in the previews before the title card and other stuff. On top of that, I gave the Panda Note E12 a purpose-built paint job, meaning it's Panda. Now, all I need to do now is get the wide body kit, install that sucker, and then it'll be done. But again, going just touching base on what the channel, if I haven't done it already, um, I'm just gonna touch base a little bit more about what's going on with my channel. Now, there's been a lot of bereavement in my family from my, the death of my late father to my mom's health crisis, which was just this past few months ago. And then the most recent one with my older brother having a near-death experience due to his diabetes. Um, that has sucked up a lot of my resources to where normally I'd be doing a mukbang every other month to where now the mukbangs will be far and few in between. I will still be doing the mukbangs. My channel will still be a food-centric channel with a little bit of car stuff on the side. However, it's gonna be a little bit different. And by a little bit different, I mean that it's gonna be, instead of you seeing me upload every other month or every other week or sometimes daily, it'll be very sporadic. And the reason why I say it's sporadic is because one, kind of tones down my anxiety about producing content and two I upload when I like what I like when I feel like it anyway so it it kind of it kind of makes sense for me to stick to that format but right now I have a lot of prep work to do I'll definitely include that in the b-roll footage but I hope each and every one of you have a blessed day today it's a beautiful Tuesday morning if you live in the state of Hawaii it's a beautiful Tuesday is it a Tuesday Cause I've been sleeping also on and off. My, my sleep schedule hasn't been that good. That's why I look all haggard even though I took a shower probably about a half an hour ago. But yeah, it's Tuesday, September 1st. I hope each and every one of you have a beautiful Tuesday if you live on the island of Oahu and in the state of Hawaii. And more importantly, as I've always said, embrace the good shit, fuck the bullshit. Oh yeah, by the way, December 19th is the relaunch for 808 Project D and my personal business. 
GMK branding, which also is a link to the suggested channels or the featured channels on my web on my channel page. Go check that out for the highlight video as well as the Project D promo video coming up soon.